All right, headed down this weekend to up actually to scout the Dismal River area. That's Kai in the background with the kayaks. This is a really nice portion of river here. It's pretty challenging. There's a lot of hairpin turns. As you can see, water moves real fast. There have been some hairy spots and we've got some photos that we'll put up for that, but it's been a lot of fun, really enjoyable. Just a perfect day and it's only April. So I think by the time it gets to June, July, August, it'll be really nice area, really nice trip. Anyway, onward. Onward we go. Say hi though, Kai. Probably say hello to the camera. Hey everybody. Dismal River is one of the, it probably is about the most gorgeous river in the state of Nebraska up there with the Niobrara for sure. Definitely a challenging river. Lots of fun to get on. I recommend getting on it with Sam. Is there any place we could uh, get food for the for the journey? Hey, we got we way? loaded up before we came. We stopped <laughs> at Ewald's Grocery up in Thedford on the way out. Loaded up with absolutely everything we needed. It's going to be a great trip the rest of the day. Started out this morning, 39 degrees was the air tip, 18 with the wind chill. But, hey, we're staying warm. It's great. Come on out. Guy's made for television. He should try out for a loan, actually. <laughs> That'd be funny. Get me on a loan. We'll That'd see be... what happens. <laughs> You would never guess that this was in Nebraska, probably, just uh, by what most people think of the state. I think it's a lot of, a lot of uh, cornfields and such, but no, this is, this is uh, really wild. Lots of just junipers and, as you see, hairpin turns. <laughs> we have a uh, pretty beautiful down here, of course. Gorgeous view. We have a hairpin turn. Hairpin turn and someone's kayak is draining. They might have tipped over. It was whoever was in the green kayak. We don't know who that was. It was one of us, but uh, hey, Sam. It's someone, someone who was paddling that tipped over, and now we're having lunch. But this is just an awesome river. Um, it's it's for people who think an adventure is definitely worth a few scrapes and bruises. That's for sure. Um, but just a fun time. Just a big fun adventure. Is that how you describe it, Kai? It is definitely an adventure seeker river. You've constantly got to do something when you're when you're on there. I mean, there's not really a spot that you just float. You're always maneuvering around something somewhere along the way. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a, a very good trip so far. A little bit of extra excitement a couple of times <laughs> through there, but there's one there was one stretch that we, we went through that was it was pretty hairy down through there, but it, it was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of maneuvering through it. Um, and very interesting, but yeah, it's this has been an absolutely gorgeous trip. And Kai is still dry, actually. If you see his <laughs> his sweatshirt is still yeah. still intact. If you can see Sam's pants or anything my there. Pants. In his defense, I probably just flipped him on his last time. That was my fault. It was an have. accident. <laughs> it was it was uh, it was worth it though. Lots of fun. Really dicey stretch of river here. Um, lots of strainers this whole way, but we've had uh, an interesting time uh, <laughs> these last uh, couple hours or so. Kai's being the guinea pig for me, and he's really struggling to get through. Oh, he's screwed. Yeah, that's not good. But there's nowhere to portage. Maybe over there, but that'd be tough to get out of the kayak. We'll let you know <laughs> how this turns out. How'd you make it through? I didn't to push my way through is what happened. <laughs> and I got soaked. 
yeah, there was no way to, no good way to do that one. So we just kind of made away, ducked under the uh, junipers that were touching the water and went backwards through an area and got kind of clotheslined by a few uh, branches, but we made it through. That was actually, believe it or not, that was pretty mild uh, from what we've been seeing today. So uh, we think the rest of it's more of a, a relaxing sort of, um, I don't know, not not as easy as some rivers, but it's not as not as hairy. Whoa. Yeah, the rest of it's just going to be nice and nice and relaxing, we think. just pulled off the river. It was nine hours total of pretty much constant kayaking. Um, really got a lot nicer um, towards the, the last portion of it. There was very little uh, deadfall, but uh, it was a great day. I mean, we saw dozens of deer, turkey, cattle, and uh, horses, yeah. <laughs> Muskrat, geese. We had, a, we had a good time, lots of wildlife, and it's just a scenic place. Uh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful out here. Any last words, Kai? I'd say that is a phenomenal trip. It's not for the faint of heart at all. We were on the river for about nine hours, nine hours? Nine, yeah. Somewhere in that range, so it's got a, it takes a bit to get down the river. Sam broke one of the paddles, so that kind of slows down just a, that's a hair. Someone but broke a paddle. Somebody broke a paddle. We returned between, with three halves of paddles. <laughs> between the two of us, somebody broke a paddle. But, <laughs> yes, it, it was an excellent trip. The scenery, unbelievable on that river. Fast-flowing river. Lots to do on it. Great trip. Out. All right. Let's get some food. Let's get food. They got some nice. Eggs. Pretty yeah. Pretty nice. Are you going to... Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I what we're feeling. Yeah. Steaks though, local steaks. Yep, that's steak. Nice. <laughs>